I sat in my garden. A slight night chill wrapped my body, waiting for the midnight countdown. A farewell. Three, two, one. The night exploded with spiders of light high in the sky thunderous waves of colors and sounds over and over lighting the horizon and obliterating the stars above. What's to be? A new beginning of a chapter not yet written for me. It's so wonderful to see each and every one of you. I really had a nice rest and spending time with my family. I've had a lot of time to think about uh, my life and YouTube and you, and it really has been wonderful. And you know, before I get started, I always forget to ask people to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. So if you are not a part of this wonderful, amazing community that we have here, I would love to have you subscribe and join us because the bigger we are, the stronger we are, and the loudest voice and a louder voice we'll be able to have to perhaps change this world in a tiny, tiny little way. Well, here we are in a brand new year. New Year's Eve, I was sitting up in my garden and waiting for the big fireworks show. And I was thinking about my life and all of the things that happened to me at the end of 22 and in 2023, all of the transitions that I went through. And I thought of you. You too, I'm sure, have be, been able to look back in 2023 and think of things that have happened to you this year. Some may be really exciting and wonderful, but maybe others not so good. And I was just wondering, what is my mindset going to be in 2024? Am I going to be able to reinvent myself and put the past behind and not be a victim of my own life. It's so easy to do that, isn't it? It's so easy to think of all the negative things in our lives and dwell on them. And actually that negativity keeps us from moving forward in our lives. And I am very guilty of that, even though I know better. It's just human nature sometimes to dwell on the negative parts of our lives. And I really decided up there before all of the display happened that this year I really am going to try to let go and reinvent myself. So many different things have happened to me and I'm sure have happened to you that have we're holding on to and we're not letting it go and actually, in reality, all of that stuff, and I say stuff a lot, all of that stuff really is or has the potential to hold us back in this new year. I truly want to be able to reinvent myself and to think of 2024 as a new beginning for me in my relationships with my children, in my relationships with my friends and family. I really want to try to make the best of everything that is to come. I'm not going to let negativity hold me back. I'm not going to let the sometimes, you know, when you things happen that are not good and you think, oh, gee, a couple of years ago, this was so wonderful. You know, I had my husband. I 
you know, had no cares and, and I was happy. I'm not going to let my past and the things that have happened to me in my past hold me back. Because after all, think about it. Think about the people who really, really are have problems. Think about the people that have lost their limbs, that are in a wheelchair, that are blind, that are homeless. Think about all of the poor people now who are suffering in the wars around the world. I have no problems. I have a great life. And I am going to try to focus on that. And I hope that you will step out of the identity that you had in 2023. And I hope you'll be able to reinvent yourself. Be a new you in 2024. Appreciate the years that we have while we're here. Appreciate the small things in your life and, and really try to get a lot of that negativity out of our lives. I know that I am trying so hard to do that. I have often asked myself, am I stuck because of me? Are you stuck because of you? You have the freedom of choice. You have the freedom to think the way you want to think. You have the freedom to be who you want to be. We all have choices. I can choose how I think. I truly have control over my mindset. And we have the choice of either choose to be negative or choose to be positive. And positivity is a, is a state among all other things of self-love. In the end, what I really am aiming for and want in 2024 is a resolution of peace in my life with myself and with others around me. I know probably the hardest thing to do is to set new intentions, to release the anger and resentment of those that you may have crossed paths with in your family or others in your life and have had disagreements. And I think the hardest thing to do is to really forgive and let go of that. But I think it's a goal we all should try to aim for. And in the end, please remember, things happen not to you, but things happen for you. So this new year, let's move forward and re-identify and create a new identity for ourselves. After all, our book is not completely written yet. And we have a chance to add more wonderful and new chapters to that book. Thank you so very much for being with me today. I am happy to be back, and I do hope that you all had a wonderful holiday and that we can, going forward, <laughs> think about 2024 in a positive way, reinvent ourselves, and all try to be better people each and every day and make something of our lives and do something that is meaningful with our lives. Please be good to yourself, be kind to everyone, and let's share the love and pray for a world peace. And if you are coming out of 2023 and beginning 2024 and you're feeling unloved and alone, please do not be a victim of your life and know that you are truly truly loved and that you are never alone. Take care and I hope to see you again in my next video.